Hello and welcome to Downloadable. I am your host Neil Taylor and no, this is not a joke. This really is Gravity Badgers. Something that spun out of a joke from Game Burst. I'm constantly calling Jerome a Gravity Badger, not knowing what one is. Well, here it is. And, well, what is it? Well, in all honesty, it's okay. <laughs> but I think you might recognise the gameplay somewhat. Let's find a level to jump in at. Let's have a look here. Ah, 12 will do. So this is me. The Gravity Badger. A badger in space with a jetpack. My goal is to get to the green portal while collecting the golden glowing orbs. As you'll notice, you have pulsing planets and planets that pull you in. It's kind of Angry Birds space, to be fair. Is Does that mean it's a... Ouch. <laughs> is that a bad thing? Eh, not necessarily, but... Here's the funny thing, this is on PC, it's on quite a lot, it's like on the Wii U, it's on the Nintendo eStore, it's on the PlayStation Plus, and of course it's available on PC. And I don't, this might be one of the shortest review videos I've ever done, and this sounds horrible because it feels like I'm not giving Wales Interactive their due, they've actually play, created quite a fun little game. Here's the thing, I'd have a lot more fun playing this on my phone than I do on the PC. And that's as, also, as you may have noticed, I'm not very good at this. And essentially, that seems to be a lot of problem when people port over. Oh come on! Port over games from mobile over onto the PC or the home consoles is the fact that they are designed for the mobile market. They are designed to be played in short bursts. Well, you know, you're waiting for a bus or let's face it, on the toilet doesn't necessarily make the game bad. I don't find this game bad at all. I actually find it quite fun. It's got a really good soundtrack, great artwork, and it's got a story to it. I love character designs and all that kind of thing, but my biggest problem is that I don't personally want to play this type of game on my PC. You know, I've got other games that I could be playing. I could be playing The Witcher 3 or Rainbow Six, this is to me is something I would play quite happily by the way play on the way to work or something and I like the challenge game play wise the challenge is there um, I didn't play enough of Angry Birds space to even comment on how different good or bad it is but this is quite clearly a mobile port and this is where I sort of run into problems again I do this is not a criticism of Wales Interactive more in general to anybody really who ports over the sort of mobile games over onto PC and, and home console. I mean, <coughs> bad part, bad looking at my part. I didn't look to see whether it was the DS, uh, the, you know, the 3DS or the Wii or the Wii U that Gravity Badges is on. But again, maybe on the DS I could see this working as a, port a fun portable downloadable game. And I'm really stuck in a strange position here. I like this game. I look like the music, I like the art style, I like the gameplay. But to me, and hey, you can you can clearly label this as my fault. I'm on it's my fault for playing it on the wrong platform. I should go buy this on my iOS device, which yeah, in, in you're right, I should, but you've also ported this over to the PC, and people are gonna buy it. And people are, you know. Is this the kind of thing that people want to, you know, pick up on for their PC? Hardcore gamers, no. Casual people, maybe, but this is... Ooh, that went really wrong. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of the fun of this game, is when it goes really wrong like that. Nope. Sorry, I, I'm just... This is what I mean. I like the game. I'm actually quite into the mechanic of trying to get my little space badger... ...to where I need him to go. I'm into the fact that you've got to work out the mechanics of it all. And not make him go pop. <laughs> Although I'm gonna admit that pop sound is satisfying. See, this is, yay. This is why I'm stuck in this weird position of, I like this game, but not on my PC. So I should stop moaning about it before you write it in the comments and say, hey, go buy it on your iOS device. So yeah. Is Gravity Badges a bad game? No. It's a lot of fun, it's got great art style, good gameplay mechanics, great sound effect, great look to it all, all in all. However, I just feel that this is better suited to a mobile device than it is to the PC. And that's it. 
I have nothing else more to say on it. I like this game. I forgot how much I actually like this game. And even how screwing up on it is kind of satisfying. At least, this game's hard, but not punishingly so. You know, you want to get better at it, say, unlike something like... <laughs> well, you'll see next week. However, I really don't have much more to say for it. It's a good game. Miles and Dragons have made a fun game. But get the get the mobile port. I don't see a need for you to buy the PC version. Kind of ho feel horrible saying that. But that's how I honestly feel. Well, that was short and sweet. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it the thumbs down. Remember to subscribe and comment down below. I mean, do you like playing sort of these mobile ports on on your PC? Let me know. I'm, I'm kind of curious on this. All right. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bits. Ah. Another great thing I love that they put into this game. Lean. Oh, I missed lean. I remember when first person shooters used to do this all the time. Such a fun thing.